Well, well, well. I have completed everything regarding the final shape and am awaiting for the raid. So, how was it? The final shape is as I said weeks ago. Bungie probably is making the greatest expansion of Destiny's history. Not just two, also Destiny 1. Fucking fantastic. People have this weird trauma called Lightfall, which made them lose all faith in Bungie. Even though it's like almost confirmed that Lightfall was not even supposed to be a thing. So clearly Bungie had to make something out of nothing. That is why Lightfall was shit story-wise. And that is exactly why. If you saw my previous video about the final shape, you will know that I had complete faith in this expansion and everyone attacked me for it. And guess what? It is fucking fantastic. Putting aside the server issues, I, I know the servers were really bad on day one. However, when it comes to like content, game, story, the final shape is still the best fucking expansion. The Vidocs made it clear, the trailers made it clear, I don't know why people were still doubting it. Sure, the raid is not here and the story is not completely done, but let me tell you now, I have complete faith in the raid and the final mission, and they will be fucking great. Yes, I love the story, I love how they utilized Cade and Zavala, the crow was fucking fantastic, especially in the wild card quest. And for some reason, you push Mithrax off the map, he drops Glimmer. Yep, now that is a thing. The pale heart, the way it is structured, I think is very beautiful. It was very well done. It conveyed the whole theme of the final shape perfectly. The drama between Ikora, Kate, and Zavala was so damn entertaining. I almost for a moment didn't even care about the witness. I felt like we had bigger problems within the fire team. And of course, my boy Kate, he is back. And he came back with a bang. When he communed with the traveler, the whole cutscene of him losing Sundance again. It was so fucking good. Prismatic is so damn broken. I use a hunter. And when I found out that you can have stylish Winter's Shroud with combination blow, I was like, yup, that's it. We literally gave ourselves Assassin's Cowl without Assassin's Cowl. And put on Lyle's Handshake and it's holy goddamn shit. Yeah, it is absolutely broken. When I found that out, I thought I was a genius. But apparently everyone knows about this now. So yeah, rest in peace, my guide. The ending, the whole witness growing more fingers. Bro, I already complained about how amazing the witness's fingers are. Like, you can... They can be useful in very, you know, some situations. Like, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> yeah, now he has more fingers, bigger fingers. And uh, look, I know it, you know it. Everybody fucking knows it. No one beats the witness. You know where. Not in the battlefield. You know where. Other than that, the dread. Fuck these subjugators. Fuck them. I hate them. And above all, fuck the tormentors. It's like I'm shooting a wall. Holy shit. And the final mission. Damn. The poison mechanic really fucked us up. All the chaos and also trying to keep up with the buff was so damn stressful. In, in a good way, in a good way. It's not bad. <laughs> l l let's get one thing right. There is nothing I think was bad in the campaign. Literally nothing. Yes, you can call it glazing. I call it absolute masterpiece. And I swear on my penis on it. The final shape was an absolute perfect ending for the 10 year saga of Destiny. And even though we didn't even get to the actual ending, I still think it is the best expansion when it comes to story, especially. And yup, we'll see what we get in the raid. And I'm still waiting for that one Avengers Endgame moment where everyone comes in and attacks the witness. I think it's gonna be on the final mission next week, but let's see, let's see. And that's about it. Get the fuck out.